Hey, Trevor Matthews here. I wanted to talk a little bit today about fixed Copeland compressor and VFDs. I've done tons and tons of trains with contractors and technicians and I would always ask them the question, can you put a VFD on a Copeland compressor, a scroll, a discus? Half of them would say no, half of them would say yes. Well, you can. You can put a drive on a fixed compressor. If you're running into capacity control issues where the compressor is oversized, you potentially can add a drive onto that discus compressor or that scroll compressor. There are limitations. You need to check out application engineering below than 1369. Uh, I will put that in the description. Uh, but as you can see right here, I got a fixed compressor right now, drive. We're running at 2700 RPMs right now. And as you can see, right down there, just a scroll compressor, a ZB15. So you can do it, but just make sure you check those limitations. I got a training coming out next week called Utilizing Low Condensing. We're going to talk about capacities, capacity controls on low condensing. And this is going to be for lead technicians, sales, project management, uh, even new engineers. How you take a conventional system and turn it into a high efficiency system. If you've installed a VFD on a fixed compressor before, add a drive onto a compressor before, let me know how it worked. How, was it good? Was it bad? Was it tough? My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.